I love the idea of a tablet. It's kind of like a magic notepad. You can just take it anywhere, pick up a stylus, and just start writing down and doing whatever you want. But we know it's not very powerful, or at least it feels like it's not very powerful, like there's something missing. This is the question I've been exploring for six years, and I love the solution we have. It makes my tablet feel as powerful as a laptop with a trackpad and a keyboard, but it still has that feeling like you're carrying around a notepad. I love this. If you don't know what it is, what's missing in Windows touchscreens, stay tuned and I'll tell you right now. Artists are usually the first ones to notice this lack, what's missing. Now, if I want my tablet to be useful, then I've got to have some extra input methods. Just a stylus is not enough. Just pinch to zoom is not enough. So I'm going to open up the artist pad from Tablet Pro. This is a non-clunky input mode for one of your hands while the other one's using the stylus. You can put it on the right or the left side. You can see over here there's tool tips. So you can see what these different things do. Something as simple as pressing the Alt key and sampling the color or pressing undo can be really, really difficult if you don't have a keyboard. If you have a hard time remembering what certain keyboard shortcuts are, this is easy. It's just a button. I love a big canvas. So I have just the tools that I want over here on the side, just the ones that I use almost all the time. And then I could toggle back and forth between having the full UI with all of my tools and having this beautiful, big canvas to work in. Very aesthetically appealing to me. If you need more than just a single row of buttons, you can use one of the larger sized artist pads. These are application specific, which means with a single click of the tablet pen tool icon, it'll open up the artist pad specific for the program you're using. If it exists, you can adjust the size or open up the settings window here and toggle through a number of the presets that we've already created. Beyond just keyboard shortcuts, you can do advanced mouse movements that are useful in 3D programs like Blender. You can use modifiers and sculpt using simultaneous pen and touch in programs like ZBrush or something even as simple as mapping your side button to a hover right click. Now Tablet Pro also has a full screen transparent trackpad mode. So I'm going to right click on the pen tool icon, choose full screen. And I'm going to put my finger on the lower right corner of the screen. Now I can move the cursor, the mouse pointer to anywhere on the screen. I'm inside DaVinci Resolve, which has a terribly tiny UI, and I can navigate just fine, choose different options, and it's very, very easy, and it feels exactly like using the trackpad on your laptop. So I can do two finger tap to perform a right click. And if I want to do any number of customizable gestures, there's over 30 different ones for different keyboard shortcuts. Very, very powerful. So if you wanted to do undo or uh, split a clip or ripple delete, you can have different gestures like three finger pinch in or twist or three finger tap or four finger slide down. Have all of those do different keyboard shortcuts. You don't even have to look at the screen. You can have an external monitor, use the screen as a touch input device, or just use the tablet like a tablet. And you have all these extra powers, almost like a superhero. Not a cool superhero, just for clarity, just an effective, productive superhero that doesn't need a desk. Desk free, man. It's okay. Let's double click the pen tool icon. And the pen tool is going to give you not only abilities to remap the side buttons. This is a two button stylus I sell on my website, highly vetted, best one you can buy. And you can customize what these two buttons on the stylus do. And Tablet Pro, the pen tool, all of this is program specific, which means that if you want to have your stylus button in Rebel, send an Alt, you can have it send Alt. And if in Resolve, you want it to do a hover right click, you can do a hover right click. Or if in Blender, you want it to do a middle click or a middle click with Alt or Control or Shift selected, you can do all of those different things here and it'll switch per program. If you have a location on the screen that doesn't have a keyboard shortcut, it's very easy to map up to six different spots at once. I'm going to go ahead and reset this and we're going to do this from scratch. So I want to click the red pencil, the blue pencil, and the eraser. And then 
we're going to click apply. And that's all I have to do. Now, when I press the side button on my stylus, it's going to jump to one, to the next, to the next. That's so cool. I love this. Installing Tablet Pro is very easy. Just click here on the download button. We're going to do this together. We're going to double click to open. We're going to double click the install file. Choose yes. We're going to click on next. I agree. Next. Next. We host two of the programs in the Tablet Pro Suite on the Windows Store. Click here if you already have the Tablet Pro Manager installed. So we're going to click Next. It'll open this for us. Click Install right here. It has a free trial. In order to purchase the software, just click here and choose Purchase. The entire suite, everything costs just about $30. Okay, so that's installed. Now we're going to install the pen tool. If you have it installed already, you can click skip. This is going to make sure that it runs at the end of the installation process. Click install. This also has a free trial. And then when you're done, click close. If you purchased right here, then just click yes. It'll check for that license for you. And that will activate the purchases in the desktop software. And if you did that, thank you so much. My family and Takashi's family, we really appreciate it and we rely on you for the continued development of the software. When you're done with the install, find the pen tool right here. I suggest dragging it down to the taskbar and then double click it to get started. All right, you guys, that is all of the basics. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're excited because I'm always excited about the stuff that we're doing here. I feel like it's so important and so useful. I was really frustrated with trying to set up a desk in all sorts of different places when I really just wanted to start working and I wanted to be able to pick up and take care of other things that might come up quickly while I was working. No setup. Love this. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. If you use a stylus and a Windows tablet or Windows touchscreen, this is a great channel for you. So please subscribe right now.